Well, Sassel has been a long-standing sponsor of the competition and a collector of South African contemporary art. And we believe that through Sassel New Signatures, we can continue that legacy by being involved in a competition that really identifies new artists, artists that aren't established yet, because through this competition it gives them a platform to be exposed and to potentially establish a, a career in art. So it's something we're very excited about and uh, it's certainly proven that by hosting a competition of this nature you really do get to discover new artists and, and uh, create a platform for them to display their work. I think it's because of the passion uh, that Sassel's got for the visual arts and that they supporting the visual arts uh, nationally and also the fact that we have that wonderful passion also uh, by you know promoting young upcoming artists and of course old established artists also and we just a fantastic team together uh, Sassel and the Association of Arts Pretoria. I think what we're hoping for is a variety in mediums um, in, in an approach, um, in, also in concept, and also how artists are looking at South Africa, because at some point you want to reflect on who, who we are. And, and I'm looking forward to it, a new story, a new language, actually, something new, something fresh, something that we have maybe seen before, but um, approaching it in a very different way. I would encourage people to enter if they even if they don't think that their work is good enough. There's only one way to know where you stand and that's to enter. And I think sometimes it's also a little bit of zeitgeist. You might not make it one year, but the next year you definitely, uh, the right people see your work and then you've got your chance. So the thing is, you should always take the chance. If you don't take the chance, then you will never know. It's quite a daunting, you know, thing. Uh, as much as I love making, I now have to rethink as to I can't just work the way I used to work and just carelessly work. I have to work with uh, focused experimentation and focused exploration, which I know that it's going to be shown and not stuck under the couch or behind the door. And it's it's quite exciting. I'm looking forward to showing my work, and it will have a whole new meaning when it's placed inside the Cecil Gallery.